<laughs> so we're watching uh, episode 14, guys. This is called We Are Like the Dreamer. We just watched uh, episode 13, What Story Is That, Charlie? Where a lot of stuff happened. We had some arm wrestling. Uh, that was a fun little scene with Doppelkoop, if you recall. Uh, Mr. C. And Numbers. Do you guys remember Numbers? That, that old... Of course I remember Numbers. <laughs> Do you need me that money? Question? Do you need any money? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, so we're getting into We Are Like the Dreamer. Um, full disclosure, we went ahead and watched it already. So just stay tuned for us talking about it. Uh, it has a lot <laughs> to do with Andy. Um, Andy yeah, it does. enters into this realm and he uh, not so goes and like unlocks or taps into some subconscious inside of Andy and uh it's a really good episode I, I enjoyed that episode so yeah stay tuned for when we talk about we are like the dreamer we are like the dreamer we are like the memer we are the dreamer of the dream we live inside a dream I get a butt rush. Butt rush. <laughs> Boy, get butt rush. Uh, Lissy is Lissy. A great song by uh, uh, Nietzsche. There. A Nietzsche. Yeah. The uh, Christine assist. Larson Nietzsche. Look at uh, the second assistant director, dude. Yeah. I'm me and it took. That's some fucking Black Lodge reverse speech right there. It could be. I mean, why don't you tell me? I don't why don't you. you tell me? Up to you. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, so welcome back to this episode. Um, do you recall what it was called? It was called. <laughs> Oh, well, okay. It was called uh, "What Story Back Is That, way. Charlie?" Yeah, you're right. So that I was expecting another scene with Audrey, just based on that title. We didn't get that. Yeah, did they not say the title of this? Well, so... that's the thing. Is like they the last episode they were talking about i think i think last episode and this episode there were scenes at the uh, roadhouse where people were talking about characters that audrey mentioned briefly yes billy billy tina tina maybe. um yeah so that story that charlie heard on the phone was basically relayed to us in this episode at the end yeah that this guy would just sh started puking up blood and stuff like that and then was he the one in the cell then that was just like, was like, that him? The, the guy in the cell is never ever elaborated on or like given context in any way he's just a dude in that cell who does who, he's like, dripping blood out of his mouth and stuff well know? for for yeah from like the clues that were given in like context clues it it stands to reason but but we are never like definitively in any way told oh. what the hell is up with this dude it's just he's there in that cell and he parrots what people say around it right oh so yeah this one was called what story is that charlie um a lot of cool stuff happened in this episode i'd say we get the phone call between frank and gordon cole about oh. um, the two coops the toque the tukies Super. tupes the, tul the tulpas and we learn yeah. we learn the tulpa. We learn the word tulpa yep. for the first time. Maya tulpa in this in this story. Tuper tulpa. Um, because what they talk about is the blue rose. Um, yep. Philip Jeffries and Gordon Cole go investigate these two women, and they're the same person. And one of them dies. Well, saying, they hear a gunshot. I'm or just, whatever. I'm just like the blue rose. Um, and uh, she disappears. Right, she disappears, and the other one hangs herself a while later. Yeah. Um, Tammy. They're is, the same person. Is but under are they? the. She Ooh. understands that blue roses don't occur in nature. Yes, so it's unnatural. It's very like unnatural. Mm -hmm. So she um, 
things that don't normally happen in nature. And Maybe in another from, universe. From but... from what I gather from listening to her talk in the Secret History, um, she's very skeptical about a lot of mysticism and stuff like that. So it's yes. interesting to see her right now kind of like just listen to Albert talk about these Blue Rose occurrences. Well, yes, you're you're completely correct. But I think I think in this scenario, if you were, regardless of whether you were a skeptic or a believer, in this scenario as an investigator, especially a professional one, um, if somebody is sitting there like divulging information, you just want to be very open to it and and try to take it in uh, like for what it is on its face, rather than how you might feel about it right so i think i think she's just doing trying to do a good job as a as a fbi agent to just like listen to him and be like okay i understand i understand what you're saying <laughs> mm -hmm. even, so, even if it doesn't make sense no for her yeah i don't think it does but then we get this scene uh, we get there is no tammy tammy her I'm for coffee. In the corner. it's coffee time one of the greatest time for a coffee <laughs> Mo monica bellucci Oh yeah, my we gosh. Get the There's right so there. much happening, yeah. So we get this crazy guy uh, <laughs> window guy washing. The window in no way, shape, or form. Oh, this... <laughs> go, he's just going really fast in all sorts of different directions. He looks like a blue man from the blue man group. He's dry, too. Just like, no, there's no cleaner or... or yeah, <laughs> like, look it up. <laughs> just going nuts. <laughs> it's so frantic in the way that it's shot, too. <laughs> This guy's, it's almost like one of the uh, woodsmen were out there just like yeah. specifically putting it to Gordon Cole. <laughs> it's a weird. You know, like, he's got the. Like, 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 it's like, like the blue man group because he just moves so weird and like. Yeah. Exactly. Like, you are goofy. spot on with that. Um, then we get more talking about um, Major baby. Briggs. We had a lot of Major Briggs kind of themes throughout this whole episode. If you think about yeah. back to, you know, when Cooper was in that kind of purple ocean area mm -hmm. and how he meets Major Briggs' head floating across it saying, Blue oh, yeah. Rose. Blue Rose. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, it this episode should have been called just like Blue Rose because that woman that comes out of the portal... That's important to Andy, you know, like she's important. She means yeah. something. Yeah, that's a blue rose. She doesn't occur in nature. She's otherworldly. Yeah. She comes from somewhere else. I think we're just getting people from other universes. Don't we're putting a team together? <laughs> like we got this green yeah. arm guy, the, the garden glove guy. We got this blind lady from a, another place. Yeah, the Twin Peaks Avengers, dude. <laughs> we got Hawk. We got. Andy, fucking obviously. the giant is the fucking uh, is is the Nick Fury of the situation. The fireman. True. Yeah, he's like, I'm. You you go here. He's got a superhero a name, dude. Fireman. Yeah. Fireman. Um. Some good scenes. Uh, especially the Monica Bellucci. Um, the Bellucci talking about dreams and dream theory. That little finger crap she's doing is. Is uh, her ninjutsu? Yeah, yeah. She's doing her Naruto ninjutsu. Yeah. Um, I bet you it's some some mysticism shenanigans. But what was great is that he goes back what into that young boy? um, fire walk with me, where Cooper comes up and talks about a dream he had. Yeah. And then we get some Philip Jeffries and, yeah, young Albert. He talks about uh, who do you think that is, you know what I mean, or whatever the fuck it was. Right. So the significance of the dream, what do you guys think of um, Lynch relaying his dream? And why Why what is it he... that him and Albert were like, yeah, I forgot about that. Like, I'm just remembering that again. Yeah, and then, like... The thing the Baluch says essentially is about, you know, like dreamers, you know, dream, they live inside the dream or whatever this thing. And then she says, but whose dream is it or whatever the fuck? Yeah, who's the dreamer? 
Who is the dreamer? Who's the dreamer? Who is the dreamer? So is it like that everyone's just alive in this dream or some shit? Is it some weird... Is it, is it some weird multi-universe shenanigans and consciousness things and whatever? You're going deep, Brancho. You know? I like it. I'm liking it. I live deep, dude. Because that's what I'm thinking is like, if Monica Bellucci's talking about who's the dreamer, to me, yeah. okay, think back. Whose world is this? What, like, is why this? are we seeing things in black and white? Yeah, you gotta think Lynchian, right? Like, what significance yeah. of colors and things like that, or sans colors? You know, like, yeah, in that realm with the firemen, that was in black and white. Right. Is that a dream? And then is is there was, he's, is he birthing the... these dreams? Is he the dreamer of this world? When because Andy's he's... when it's Andy's honest. being shown that stuff too. There's that point where there's the scene from the like first episode or whatever of what's her fuck running um and that turns into color right and there there is more color when andy's looking up at like the ceiling and he's seeing things how you know he remembers them but the fireman if you recall yeah. when he dreamt about laura he like he thought of the Ooh. idea of laura and it like sprouted out of his head is the world yeah, I was gonna say, is the world just occurring in his dream or something like that? I think he's. Are we all his dream? He's is an he aspect. Dreamer? He's an aspect of that. I don't know if we can say maybe he's a dreamer, but there could be something to counteract that. Like maybe he's or not. He's, maybe it's or a, he's a yeah a collective. Or he's dreamer. like a. He's for, a facet. For, he might be a facet of it. For ease of a a, a an uh, allusion to something. Um he's like the angel to like the god kind of situation yeah and lady dido or whatever dildo she could be another aspect of that yeah um, and then you got your lodge spirits too are those demons you know what i mean those matt demons matt demons maybe but th to go back to the color stuff even the woman that comes out of the portal in the forest yeah. At a, yeah. at a certain point in time, she was in like a muted color. Yeah. If I'm not like, if I'm recalling that right, like it was just, Maybe. she she was like screaming at like Cooper when he was talking to her and because he wanted to go through that door, but the door was like being banged on, right? And she was like, no, 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 don't go through that door. Um, go back that way or something. And then when he left and went up the hatch, he was in yeah. black and white, I think. Right. So the black and white things, you got to think, are some kind of like dream state or like yeah. Cooper's within the dream. Maybe he's not in another realm. Like he's just in a dream state because he's just a dream soul floating through it. In the yeah, in the vault of the mind, in the the palace of the mind. Right. The Jack Rabbit Palace of the Mind. Jack. Yeah. The Jacking Off Palace of the Mind. I'm liking how we're getting deep with it. I'm 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 liking yep. this. I was born deep, dude. Um, and then we get th some great scenes where Andy gets his cheese sandwich, and they get to arrest Chet. <laughs> oh yeah! What a great got day! The turkey cheese, got the ham and cheese, got the roast beef and cheese, and you got just the cheese, dude. And you know who's got just the cheese? It's our boy, old Andy. Andy, like, who, the who's Hawks got just the key? Who's got just the cheese? The key to it all. Yeah. Key to it all. The key so, has got the cheat. Then we got the boys going through a forest hike, yep. trying to find Jack some Rabbit boys. Palace, and talking some about stand by me shenanigans. Talking about uh, Major Briggs and yeah, coming out to this area and Bobby's relaying some kind of things like, "Yeah, my dad said don't ever come out here without him." Um, so I came out here without him. <laughs> so I came out here without him, and then. What's really interesting is, uh, Wilson, you brought up the the idea that when they see... They got put dirt in their pocket, too. Yeah, when they see the woman, and then they all just kind of stare. Andy's the first one to get down and kind of, like, assess what's going on and, like, hold her. Mm -hmm. And then when he stares up at the sky... I'll try to get past There's that. There's that little fucking bucket of paint there, dude. Yeah, the bucket of paint, but they look up... They're all just kind of like in awe or yeah. maybe frightened of what they're seeing, but like Andy's just kind of looking at it. Them. 
Like, it's kind of pleasant. Like, okay, this is cool. And th and that's different than what Gordon Cole saw, because when the portal opened up for yeah. him, he looked up and saw, like, black, just just darkness at the end of the other end. And yeah. even Freddy, light. the fucking kid with the green hand, talked about, like, I jumped up on these crates, and all of a sudden, I'm being sucked up into this portal in the, in the sky. Yeah. Well, maybe the... The dark portals like Black Lodge stuff, and then the this light one is like White Lodge stuff. Well, it, I think you're onto something there because if it, if Gordon Cole is standing at the place he was, looking at that portal and seeing black, and then there's like little broad shows creeping about, crushing Shaggy's skull, uh, the, yeah. and then here, you know, uh, Andy's seeing this with like the white light or like something yeah. positive, and he gets bopped over to where the fireman is. There's naked ladies with no eyes. <laughs> but she has pepperonis. Yep. You leave the broad shows out and you leave, we put the... <laughs> Did you see him dance? Yeah, there? that walk right there. The smear frame of him. <laughs> 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 um, great. This was like one of the best parts of the episode for me. I really enjoyed just... And he's the leader of the fireman's avengers did <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's he's the ant-man of the fireman's avengers where he, he like doesn't know that he has a crucial part to play until the very last yeah. moment when he does they uh they uh, underestimate him yeah and he's we growing i think grow into giant andy i think that's what a lot of what this did was recontextualize Andy as a character for the viewers because every time we see him we're like oh this guy yeah we're just we know what to expect he's just going to be kind of awkward and silly Looking sounding Andy and, and Andy yeah but this he comes out of this experience like knowing Fucking a, Captain America, dude. a lot of information that's being given to him by the dreamer or the fireman like he fireman. really gets a like succinct like he he gets a summation. He gets like a slideshow, and the things that he gets shown are are like the major points of of this perspective, this perspective, this perspective. Like, yeah. I if I could get fireman uh, news coverage where it shows me all the different <laughs> viewpoints and then just like summarizes it, edit, edits it down, cuts it into something where I can watch it succinctly. And that's I'm, America's I'm, I'm ass down. right there, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's America's <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, that's America's ass. See, to me, <laughs> what happened like this is that he knew to bring Lucy into this frame. So at some point in the future, he does this to Lucy just so this Andy watching can see like what he's fighting for, maybe? Because the, sig possibly. the yeah. significance of Lucy the causality. being... Causality? Yeah, it's like, or he's, or he's sacrificing her. <laughs> <laughs> come, come this way, Lucy. It's perfectly safe. Because so he just like funky. sets her here. It's like, stay here. Now let that bad man eat you. And then she just has to like wait there, and then he's just like, okay, yeah, I'm doing it for Pook Punky. Yeah. Surprise. Um, this is the night, such a beautiful yeah, night. Out. Then they like fucking Broadshow in there, dude. Yeah, yeah. The, the kind of Broadshow in, just. Then he comes out fucking full tilt Captain America, like, all right, boys, <laughs> this is the mission. We got our thing. Let's do it. I need. I, oh God. <laughs> I need a blockade all the way down to 42nd Street. You, I need. I need search and rescue in these buildings here, here, and here. <laughs> <laughs> is he fucking uh, what's Captain America dude. Chase from Paw Patrol <laughs> he's Captain America Robert uh, Forrester just like oh, okay. he's Iron Man okay Andy Robert Forrester's Iron Man yeah, dude though. I I wanna <laughs> see this casting Hawk is Hawkeye obviously <laughs> who's Bobby the, is the who's the, the Hulk Oh, the security that's, guard. Uh, that's the lady he's holding. It's her. That's why she's naked and stuff. No, it's got to be the guy I, I with the green glove. Because he's, he's I was got hoping the green glove. Lucy. Oh, green glove. Yeah, I forgot about green glove, dude. Lucy's Black Widow, dude. Oh, come on. 
come on. Just because he's good, just because she's a female. No, it's because of her her dance skills, dude. You saw oh, those skills. Yeah. You're flexible as fuck, dude. And Black Widow has what dance history, Eric? Ballet. She's flexible as fuck, dude. Okay. Is that dancing, or is that just flexibility? Uh, they were well, didn't something with the red room have to do with well, fucking so, so, ballerinas so, so, or shit? So, 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 so. That I think they had something to do with ballerinas. Mm-hmm. Okay, in Russia, we put the lady that comes from another world. Hulk. The the blue rose of this episode. We put her, her in a cell with a robe. Her name is Nido. Nido. Nido Queen? I, I don't know why, but her name is Nido. And we got that this, maybe Billy? This maybe, fucking dude. This is Billy. To me, this is this Billy. This is Billy? Oh, so he has, he's bleeding out his mouth and shit everywhere. Just like they said, he got a hole in his face or some shit. Like someone shot him in the face with a shotgun. And is that just like a big like vein or some shit running across his face? It's a string. Or is that a string holding the bandage on? Something, yeah. Got them droopy dog eyes, dude. Hello. <laughs> oh. Huh. Oh. Well. Um, and then we get a really great we got scene. This Avenger. That's yeah. He might be the Hulk, dude. He might be right. So this guy comes from. Who's Nido? Is she the Vision? <laughs> She's the woman without the eyes. No, she well, could I know, be the Vision. Is she the Vision? We, the Avengers. It, it, we we or said she she was the Hulk. Hulk. Yeah, but I I decided Hulk hand guy can be the Hulk. <laughs> you already got the Hulk hand. Eric, you know you're going way off base here. Why the fuck is Freddy in the Avengers if somebody like Big Ed is not in the Avengers? Because Big Ed's no nowhere near this Avengers team right now. This team is populate is is getting assembled before our eyes. Nadine, he, he, I I say Nadine should be Black Widow. Nadine, Nadine should be Hulk. Oh yeah, Nadine. Nadine would nah. Nadine. Nadine's Black Widow vibes for sure. In what way? In what way is she uh, able to use subterfuge or or her wits or anything like that? Just what the fact she that known for? she took uh, down. She just seems like the subject of some Russian programming. Dude, when she was all. in the wrestling team, she took that dude down in like two seconds, just like how yes, Black Widow but... kind of tackled people with her legs and threw them down. Okay, but but she didn't she didn't do that. She used her what? Strength, yes, strong. Her super strength, but this guy's super strength. This guy's super duper strength. Yeah, but she's this Bucky, is then. this is the first this guy's Bucky. time episode. This guy's season, Bucky. season three, episode fucking thirteen versus season one, episode one. Okay, so, okay, so this guy's Bucky then. Okay, he's got the the okay, fucking I'll take it. I'll turbo take it. arm. James the is turbo arm. James is the Hell Rider. Ghost Rider. No, James, James is James Coulson. is Yeah, I was just gonna say Colson. Colson. Because yeah. he gets off like right away and just Yeah. Either Colson or like um The guy playing Galaga. Uh, uh Oh, so we're just sticking to like the movie Avengers, not like other Marvel property. Well, yes. Well, I mean we just can. to just to keep was, it just to I was keeping it simple. Streams. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, we can be here all day. <laughs> and we yeah. are, so let's continue with the episode here. So let's um, talk about how yeah. James is Baron Mordo. Um, so this guy had so a great about story how about it. how the firemen kind of interrupted his life by opening up a portal on the east end of London town and yeah. telling him to go buy a glove at a hardware store that only had yeah. the right <laughs> hand in it. Or Go to the glove store. Glove wear. Go to the hardware store. <laughs> buy a fucking glove stand. Find the package that's only got one right hand in it. Buy that one. Put it on. Put it on and you'll have... You can, like, crush walnuts with your fingers. Yeah, so he does it. And then, uh... Fucking... Yeah, now he can't take it off, because fucking... Apparently it's stuck to his skin. It bleeds. Like, a doctor tried to take it off, and it's it's like... It's a part of him. Bleed. Yeah. It's like a symbiote, dude. He's Venom. Just oh, he can't be. Okay. So then that story kind of weirds out James. He's like, wait, so what did he say? He's like, well, go to Twin Peaks, and there you'll find your destiny. 
which putting is together a, a team. Very interesting kind of side lore there that the fireman says to this particular guy. Um, and after this, we have a really weird shot of yeah James checking out the furnace, and then coming across like jump in it. Super spooky looking mm. cellar. Okay, furnace room. So here's what's interesting to me about uh, the Argus building, Freddy. About Freddy? Yeah, I think Twin Peaks might have been his first acting role. Interesting. Cool. Um, and then after that, he has he got fingered. <laughs> oh, Freddy. No, no, no fingering. But from what I can see, yeah, unless, uh, unless, unless you unless man. you have information wow. to share with the class, Eric. Um, I mean, I might, but no. He he was in like a VR game, uh, Total War, Warhammer Three, Diablo Immortal, Diablo Four, Trine Five. Like he's he's done a bunch of video game stuff. Um, hmm. He was in uh, Master of the Air. He so that's was... why they got him to be the guy with the power glove. I did, like it. I was just curious, you know, about about his uh, kind of trajectory, and that was just interesting to see. And then we get Sarah going to a bar. Going to a bar. An a elk bear. bar. What was it called? The elk something or other. Uh, the uh, elk something Hunter, number nine. Something, something number nine. Yeah. We'd have to go back a little bit to see the exact sign. Okay. Okay. But uh sorry, yeah, we're sorry, sorry to do that to you, Tyler. Didn't mean to. <laughs> Look at the yeah, these people gathered around the bar here, like at the end here. Extras carrying on with a little quasi scene that they've come up with. It there's okay. the sign right there that says it's like a log that says what it is. Lorba. Something elk joint. Elk point number nine. Elk bar. something number nine, yeah. Yeah. Point number nine, so like, oh, like like a nine point buck, maybe, maybe. Bloody Mary, he is Bloody Mary, unfortunate animal. So yeah, Rolling Rock, uh, Bud Light, Bud Weiser, Bud Weiser, Bud Light, the Bud Lime, mm -hmm. that what the green one is. Green, the green one closest to the guy is Rolling Rock. Are you sure? Yeah, it is. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. I see it on there, my screen. There's a Pabst down there. I see some Malibu rum. Oh, gross. I see but, some yeah, absolute. What's the one uh, next to the Rolling Rock with the lemon wedge? I don't. I don't know. Uh, w I D K. I was like Widmer's maybe or something. Maybe, yeah. Would be. Vine Stefan. But yeah, we have Bloody Mary here talking to this uh, uh, truck you guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. truck university. Yeah. He does the classic thing where he goes to hit on the lady. She says no, and then so he starts saying that she must be gay or something. Well, and, yeah, and immediately just fucking yeah, berating her. But what's great about Sarah is that she uh, takes off her face. Oh. Pretty tight. Uh, take off your face. Some of the real you. And then there's a hand that comes up with the blacked out finger, which we've seen before, right? Um, mm, have we seen the, the hand finger? with the blacked out finger? Because that well, was like, isn't that where the ring goes or something? That's the spiritual mount. Uh, yeah, spiritual you, mount. You remember part. this, Tammy Preston? Yeah, mm, that's what. Was... This is the spiritual mound. Um, what well, she says something in this, right? She says like, y "Do you really want to fuck with this?" Yeah, but, and but we see like a figure or a face inside of her face, and it looks to me it's like a Judy. mouth. Yeah, it's a mouth of Judy. Yeah, the mouth. Well, yeah. if if you if you go back to, I think I think we see like the top of a cranium inside of there with like the little horny like whatever Judy. How about horny? <laughs> huh? Let's take a look. Huh? Let's take a look. It's in a book. Sarah's face, yeah. 
aerospace, yeah. It can go anywhere. So Not too far back. I guess, jeez. Yeah, there we go. Ways to know. Here you go. Here you go. What? She got no face, yeah. Where's this cranium with horn at? Maybe I'm crazy, but like, I just saw the, f I, the teeth. Keep, keep, keep going. Okay. Mm. But regardless of what we see, that gives me strong Judy. Then she too. runs and bites his throat out. Yep. With she no enters the speed or No blood on her, which is crazy. No. So fast, dude. Just her I bloody Mary. No blood. <laughs> Bloody Mary. <laughs> like, was that you? She's like, Fuck him. He fell. God. And she's like, ripped his yeah. neck off? What a mystery. <laughs> oh, no, no. And it's like, she's right, though. Because, I mean, like, if she would have done it, she would be covered in blood, dude. She's got no blood on her. How'd she do that? They're both right, where he's like, well, you were sitting right next to him. And, uh, <laughs> well, but, yeah, but look at me. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. He's just dead. Hey. He's just People die. Calmer than you are. Calmer than you are, dude. <laughs> and then this yep. fucking scene. And this scene, I think, yeah, is, is talking more about what happened with Charlie. Billy and Tina. Billy, he run in, right? He bleeding everywhere. Mimi mom. Mimi mom's guy. Mimi mom. <laughs> and then we end with Lissy again. Mimi mom's guy. So yeah, that was the episode. There's a lot of good stuff. I think, music. Wilson, you're right that they kind of made up for it for not being too like lore heavy in the last episode. Uh, we, didn't, heavy. we didn't get Dougie. We got mention no of Doug. Dougie. That I think we're just we, building more stuff about the Douglas with other people right now. Right. We know that we're learning things. Janie E is related to Diane and Diane's sister. Yep. Yeah. His sister, uh, half sister? Half sister. And she hates her. But yeah. And then there's Dougie. And then it's like, how does she not know that Dougie looks like Coop? Well, we, we also didn't get. Besides uh, either of them uh, appearing in like vision or flashback or something like that, right. we also we also didn't get Mister C, so that's like two episodes in a row where we don't get a lot of Dougie, we don't get a lot of Mister C. So we just again, had the was that the the split yeah the split screeny or the split between the two was in this part right? You got where it. he sees regular or Coop, the the toopers. Hit the nail on the head. Uh, who sees that? Is it is it Gordon Cole? Maybe it's, it's, no, it's right oh, here. Andy. It's Andy. Andy yeah. sees it. Um, but that again to me kind of tells me that like we still have like maybe next episode or coming up because there's only five more episodes. But yeah, um, coming up we will get a uh, a whether they're the same episode or different episodes. We are going to get a heavy. Uh, you focus on both Mr. C and Dougie because they were not focused on in this episode. Yes. Right. And this episode, the next one, episode 14 is called We Are Like the Dreamer. Ooh. Oh, no. Yeah. So more... Are we also like the memer? We live in the dream. Don't let well, your dreams be memes, but... Bracho. But who Don't let your memes be dreams. is the dreamer? Uh... I'd be scared to say, but it might be Brajo. <gasps> dude, I do be dreaming, dude. <laughs> that yeah. made Wilson freak out. <laughs> I knew yes. I knew it would. Uh, if so, if yeah. my life is, is just a figment of Brajo's dreams, like, you and I have to have, to have some kind of conversation. We need to dude, talk, bud. Don't lie, you'd be okay with it. Parts of it, sure. Yeah. But yeah, we'll, well leave it there. I, I just mean more like, how do you sleep? Like, like, how do you, how do you feel? Often. I, Often. Well, yes, I, yeah, I know, I know that. Um. So we're gonna thing. end this episode here. Keep this conversation going. Talk about the fireman. Talk about Andy's relationship now with the talk about the, the lodge Twin Peaks and Avengers. the dream. We're all in Andy's dream, maybe now. Uh, maybe the fireman's passing on the torch to Andy. <laughs> Who knows? He gave him that weird relic. He is the new fireman, dude. <laughs> he could be. Um, tell us, tell us everybody, tell us who's who in the Avengers here. 
Yeah, or do that. Go on a tangent with the Avengers. List your Avengers. Who's the Twin Peaks Avengers? And what's their allegories? Um, yeah, anything and everything Twin Peaks related or tangentially related with Avengers. Just, you know. Um, let us know in the your, comments. Uh, favorite uh, flavor of milk is, you know what I mean? Brajo, I expect you now to leave a comment on this video and start that conversation going. <laughs> About what? About the milk or the Avengers? Yes. About oh, milk. And why is it banana flavor, Eric? Ooh. So. No, not ooh. Thanks for joining ew. us. Goodbye for Fargonauts and the Barshi Boys. Have a good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good Bye. night. Good riddance. Good farts. <laughs> <laughs>